Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video we are looking at Notion Wishlist 2019. I wanted to share with you with a few of the things that I would like to see in 2019 and also bring together some of the things that you want to see. We had 45 comments on the Notion Facebook group which you can join um, all about things that you would like to see. So hopefully we can give you an idea of the probability of that happening, giving you an outline of potentially what's coming up next. Again, this is all speculation, so do take that with a pinch of salt. But in today's video, we're looking at Notion 2019 wish list. So let's dive in. So guys, just before we begin, if you're brand new to Notion and you want to learn all about it, you can get the course on Skillshare. I'll include the link in the description. So for my wish list, uh, let's kick things off there. API wise, I would really love to see connections with the API. I would love to see the ability to integrate some of my favorite other applications inside of Notion. I would love to see the ability to actually have a, like a Spotify area or Spotify like dashboard area and the ability to import any books I'm reading or things like that. Like it, connections with other applications, even the likes of weather, small things like that, I'd love to see it integrated there. Now, I know they're coming out with this, but a web clipper, web clipper would be a massive, but if they come out with a web clipper, I'd love for them to come out with an email into Notion Ability too. If they do come out with them both, I definitely see my sort of usage of it changing in terms of being able to import new things. Now, I naturally like the calendar feature inside of Notion, but I hate that it's only in month view. I would like to see a week view and a day view allowing me to basically see and potentially plan my day using Notion. I'm not saying I will, but I would love to see some form of agenda view. And I know I've promised this inside of my Todoist wish list, but I'd love to see something like this there. Especially if you're planning like days with clients or something like that, it's definitely gonna be a cool tool for that. And finally, seeing the automations inside of Coda, I would love to see our automation abilities inside there. Whether that's connecting it with Slack, like for example, in the editorial calendar, I'd love to have a connection with Twist so that I can nudge the team on articles that need to be done or for example change the due date so that they'd get notifications on there i'd love to see some form of connection there now on to your comments because i think your comments are a lot better than mine <laughs> hannah i would like to give a shout out to hannah wingington i don't want to ruin her name i probably did already she put and i'll link in the description a link to her notion wish list which outlines some of the amazing things uh, that she'd like to see really a lot of fixes there and i definitely recommend if you are looking at it's sort of what you would like to see a notion next, then this could be great. So or naturally all of the list is speculation, very similar to mine, but I definitely recommend checking it out. And Hannah does a great job of bringing it together. So thank you, Hannah. So let's dive into a few of the recommendations from you guys. First off is Joel. Joel, he would like to see shortcuts for all boards and a day view inside of Canada. Again, I echo that massively. I think it would be really helpful, wouldn't it, to actually see a day inside of your Notion calendar, especially when you're planning stuff. Frederick, templates to share with others. This is something that I'm going to be working on next year in terms of making a template that you guys can copy and you know use for your own account. So do stay tuned, but I'd love to see a community template area. It's a great recommendation, Frederick. Ricardo put third party integrations and naturally that's going to be coming soon in their API. So do stay tuned. I think it's going to be cool because I think Notion is going to work hard in bringing out uh, really neat integrations. But I, I I'm going to predict something. I think they're going to be called bundles. I don't know that, but I just feel that could be their name. Anthony wishes that we're better offline support. Um, and I, Alice thinks this too. I think this too. Uh, it's really awful at the moment in terms of being able to access. I mean, you can access it offline, but you, and you, you can use it offline, but you can't search. You can't, uh, do really extensive things that you do inside of like, for example, uh, you know, if you wanted to use it for travel uh, and you didn't open a note or an area already, you would have to go online to do it. So for travel, that would be wicked. Uh, Scott puts name fields to be changed. I 100% agree. I don't know whether anyone has tried this. Create a table and try and get rid of that first field or change the property type of it. It's horrible. I hate it and it definitely should be changed. But then there's probably something uh, structurally that 
is the reason why but definitely that field change i normally what i do is drag it to the end and call it notes so that i have a text field there but it really isn't a good solution larry wants recurring dates and alarms i 100 percent agree it would be cool to have some sort of recurring reminder on a task for example if you had a list of morning checklist items uh or you did regular routine items like walk somebody's dog then you could have something like that inside of there that would be really wicked danny wants better image handling i 100 percent agree i think files inside of notion are horrible to use you have to go out to a new web page and it just looks awful and works awfully quan wants daily reminder notifications i think this is a cool idea quan um imagine having like an email sent to you every day of all of the tasks all of the stuff that is like, like reminders that are coming to you and almost like a briefing like a summary report that would be really wicked especially used it uh, for your daily areas or daily lists colin wants to see email into notion 100 percent agree colin that should be coming soon death wants to see the ability to split screen and multi-view editing uh, I agree again i love to see this inside of things three actually have two windows or three windows and then being able to do that especially on ipads it'd be cool to be able to split screen edit uh, and drag stuff across to it i don't want to butcher your name zvolt svolt want location based reminders and gmaps to actually work gmaps having a huge issue with their api i believe inside of notion so that's something that really they need to be fixing very soon and also location-based reminders would be wicked too. Imagine just getting nudged, very similar to like you would on side of Todoist or something like that. So guys, that was all of your recommendations. I really appreciate you adding all of them into a wish list. Maybe Notion's watching, maybe Notion are gonna bring all of these ideas together, but it'd be really amazing uh, to get some of those all squeened into the application. Squeened, I made up a new word brought into the application in 2019 anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this video hit a like hit a like hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're brand new and feel free to recommend any additional things in the comments below anyway guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed all of the notion videos in 2019 i will be not doubling up but fine tuning them in 2019 so guys huge thank you i will see you guys in a future video cheers